Hi, I'm Angel Shannon, and it's time for a taste of home today. Our easy cream puff pastry. So right now, here comes our water coming up to a boil, as you can see. I'm gonna put just a little pinch of salt, not too much, just right in there. And then we've got our shortening. And we're just gonna mix this up until it all melts. We're gonna turn it down just a little bit so it's more of a simmer. And then we're gonna pour our flour in here all at once. And just stir, stir, stir. And see how this is coming together really nicely? You get this nice kind of ball of dough here. And we're gonna move this over here and add four eggs. You wanna make sure and do this one at a time, okay? And make sure that each egg gets mixed in well before you go to the next. And we're gonna continue to beat this mixture until it's thick and shiny. And then all we have to do is separate it, put it into spoonfuls and bake it. By the way, I've got the oven preheated at 450 degrees. That looks pretty good right there. See how it separates from the spoon? That's exactly what we're looking for, and it's got a nice little sheen to it, doesn't it? I've got silicone pad in here, but you could use parchment paper if you wanted to. That works just as easy. And what we're going to do is do our little cream puff pastries. It's always nice to get your fingers in the dough, isn't it? <laughs> See how each one of them's touching? All right, now here's the secret that I want to show you. As these puff up, we want them to be really smooth on the top so that they have a nice look about them. So what I'm going to do is just take the spoon and stick it into this cool water and go over each one just like that. And look, it smooths it right out. All right, so we've got one, and now I'm going to go ahead and do another one over here. Here's the last one, and we're going to do the same thing with this circle that we did with this one to smooth out the top. So now that we're done forming our two wreaths, what I'm going to do is stick it into this 450 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to take the heat and move it down to about 350 for another 20 minutes. And before you know it, we're going to have some great puff pastry. After these cream puff pastries cool, we're gonna drizzle some of this powdered sugar icing on. And I've got one cup of powdered sugar here, just a little bit of milk, just a little. You wanna do this just a little at a time. And also some almond flavoring. Now, you could use orange too, that would be really good. Any kind of flavoring that you really like. And there isn't any exact measurement because it's to taste. We'll get a nice thick drizzle. Pour in a little more milk. Try not to give our salsa free powder. Now you notice that we didn't put any sugar in the dough itself, so this is where it's going to get its sweetness. So now as soon as those are cool enough, we'll drizzle this on and be ready to eat. All right, here we are 15 minutes later. Remember, we've been at 450, and look at these little pastries. Aren't they cute? We're gonna turn it down to 350 for another 20 minutes. And look, you can make a wreath out of those. I love that. Look how cute. And they're shaped, like I said earlier, in a circle. You could put a little bow on it or anything like that. But I want to show you a trick. The thing about these is what happens is as they cool, they wind up getting a little gummy inside. And so you want to let the steam out of them. And so to do that, I just go ahead and take a really sharp little knife. And I'm going to just poke a hole in the side of each one, just like this. Just enough so that the steam can come out. Oh, delish. And then I'm going to turn the oven off, and we're going to leave these in the oven until they cool off. Now, these have cooled down. They look wonderful. They're so light. They're like a feather. And there's, look, all the way around, the beautiful golden brown. We're just going to take this and put it on a nice festive plate. And we've got our little powdered sugar icing, and we're just going to drizzle it right over the top. Oh, that looks so good. Not too many people try and make them, but as you can see today, they're pretty easy. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna break into one. Oh, light, delicious, a little bit of sugar. You ready? It's a taste of home. I'll see you next time. This is fabulous. Mmm, so light, yummy.